gonna hurt you! Break! Someone likes dubs. Might answer a few questions. Okay, I'll take that.
All right, listen, Fishbine. I don't know what this is all about, but I thought I made it clear I want as little to do with you as humanly possible. You were my client. That's it. Yeah, we won that case together. We both did very well because of it, but I've got no intention of being disbarred because of you. And I don't exactly appreciate standing around downtown in front of some crappy coffee shop waiting to meet you. You know, if I have to stare at this Heaven's Hellfire billboard much longer, I swear... Look, where are you? If you're not here in five, I'm leaving. Unexpected. Today, after months of speculation, Judge Paulson issued a ruling in the case of the People versus Curtin K, giving Brooke Augustine and the Department of Unified Protection clear authority to detain bioterrorists without probable cause. In cases of bioterrorist activity, the security of the state shall supersede individual privacy rights. The Department of Unified Protection will have sole discretion to identify bioterrorist individuals and will have authority to intercede unilaterally. Critics, including Stacey Pine at the Conduit Rights League, have deplored this ruling as a shameful assault on the civil liberties of conduits. But DUP Deputy Director Samuel Fishbein had a different perspective. Mr. Fishbein, the DUP must be thrilled with the court's ruling in this controversial case. How are you feeling right now? We're just glad that the legal system worked like it's supposed to and is letting us do our jobs, stopping and finding the bad guys. Mm, but is the issue really that black and white? You're detaining thousands of Americans, a curtain case, some of whom are children. Age is irrelevant. When bioterrorists are concerned, an eight-year-old can kill you as easily as a 38-year-old can. Isn't that a bit extreme? Isn't it statements like those that have earned you the reputation of being, as your critics call you, a bully? I don't care what anyone calls me. The fact is, for the last seven years, I've helped keep this country safe. Seven years, the good citizens of this country have been able to sleep at night knowing the DUP is there to stop the next bioterrorist in their tracks. Would you trade those seven years for death and destruction? just to give bioterrorists additional rights? Is that really what you want? There are some, and I'm speaking of Stacey Pine in the Conduit Rights League here, who say that you're presenting a false dichotomy. What do you say to that? Look, 
I'm not a philosopher. I just do my job, and I do it well. Okay. What about reports that your organization is using conduits for purposes Bio of... Bioterrorist. I'm not authorized to, nor do I care to share any details concerning the DUP's plans. But let me assure you, with utmost certainty, we know how to do our job. How can we be assured that you can tell the difference between a bioterrorist and a law-abiding citizen? It's our job to know the difference. That's what we do. And today, the court confirmed that by ruling in our favor. And that means better protection for everyone, including you. It's unclear what all the ramifications of today's ruling will be. But for now, it looks as though the DUP will not only be allowed to continue its operations, but they will do so under the protection of the courts. I'm Ella Chavez. Judge, you hear? Surprise. Gotta be a clue in this. Holy shit! Okay. 